Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Recording Zoom meetings with audio is a convenient way to create reference materials or resources so that each participant can review specific points, take detailed notes, or share on another platform at any time. In this video, I will recommend two different methods you can try to effectively capture both the visual and audio aspects of your Zoom meeting. Let's go! If you want to create a standard recording of your meeting, Zoom has its own built-in tool designed specifically for this purpose. There are two main types of recording options that Zoom provides. The first is local recording, which is available to all accounts and allows users to save their recorded meetings directly to their computer storage. On the other hand, cloud recording provides a more versatile solution by storing recorded meetings on Zoom's cloud servers. This allows users to conveniently access, share, and download their recorded video from anywhere with an internet connection. Note that this is only available for paid Zoom Pro accounts. Before using the built-in recording tool, remember that all participants are notified that the meeting is being recorded and when the recording stops. If you are not currently sharing your screen, you can just click the Record button directly in the control panel below the Zoom screen. While recording, you can pause it for breaks and stop it altogether when the presentation you need to capture is finished. In case you have shared your screen, hover over the control panel at the top, go to the More Actions menu and click the Record button. To pause or stop your recording, you can access the same menu as previously described. For easier access, simply press Alt plus P on your keyboard to pause recording. Then press Alt plus R to stop recording your screen. As soon as the meeting ends, the recorded file will begin converting. Please note that this may take a while depending on the length of your recording. After the conversation is done, navigate to the Documents directory and open the Zoom folder. Each recording is saved individually to a folder named with the specific timestamps and contains the standard MP4 video, M4A audio, and chat text files. The alternative method provides added features if you require extra functionality during the recording, or if you prefer to be discreet without notifying participants that your meeting is being recorded. Personally, I like to use the third-party software Movavi Screen Recorder. This is available for both Windows and Mac. To download Video Suite for free, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below for your reference. If you want to change the website language, click the Globe button in the upper right corner and choose one. Although Movavi Video Suite is generally a paid software, there is a 7-day free trial version so you can get a feel of how it works before paying for anything. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install the software on your computer. Once installed, launch the Record Computer Screen sub-program to start recording. The Movavi Screen Recorder's control panel appears as a pop-up sidebar menu on the right side of your window screen. It is also added to your system tray for easy access. For first-time setup, click the Settings icon in the control panel to modify the recording configurations to your liking. Under the General tab, click each checkbox to enable the configuration described by its label, such as disabling the default countdown or hiding the recording panel. Set your preferred destination folder when saving your recording in the Files menu. Go to the Video tab if you want to adjust your output's frame rate. To show cursor and keystroke activity in your recording, you can enable it in the FX tab. You can also limit your recording duration and set a specific time range in the Scheduler configuration. Finally, click the OK button to save your changes. When your recording settings are all set up, open your streaming platform or the window you want to capture. Then click the Video Camera button in the Movavi control panel. To set your recording screen, either drag the cursor to select a certain frame or click the space bar on your keyboard to capture the entire window. You can use the corresponding toolbars to activate specific functions you need while recording. Turn on the webcam button to capture yourself and include its frame while your screen is being recorded. If you want to capture your speaking voice along with your recording, you can activate the microphone button. 
For clearer audio input, click Settings and enable Noise Reduction. To capture any sounds or audio coming from your computer or from your presentation itself, make sure to activate the System Audio button on the toolbar. While on the vertical toolbar, you can activate the Keystroke feature to record all keyboard activity, or simply capture the shortcut keys you may press during recording. You can also include additional mouse cursor effects if you prefer. Click the Record button to start your screencast. Keep in mind that if you're using the free trial version of the software, you will only be able to record a maximum of 7 minutes and the output video will definitely have a watermark. In case you need to take notes or highlight specific timestamps while recording, you can use the Pencil button to doodle or add shapes directly on the screen. Once you have recorded enough, click the Stop button to stop the screen capture. A separate window will appear where you can create cuts, capture frames, or edit the output with more advanced functions using Movavi Video Editor. To save your output video directly, click the Export button. Rename the file, modify its destination folder, and change the video format to your liking. When everything is ready, click the Save button and wait for the program to export your video. Once the export is complete, tap the Show in Folder button to view your recording in the location where you saved it. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!